do you think? Was it worth it? The piano. It's, I mean. it's a very good piano. It's a great piano. It's very versatile. It's got you know all the big and bombastic when you want that, and dark and moody when you when you want that. So all those things, just like you, actually. <laughs> so well, which one's better? Which part of the two, if you had to choose? Well, I I like everything from the piano because I, I got to play all styles all the time in my business. You can play all styles all the time. Uh, yeah, I mean. I could take a song, play any song, and play it in ten different styles without... without any song? Uh, pretty well, yeah. You could take any song and play it in any different styles? Ten? Ten different styles? Yeah, I'd Should say. Should we put them to the test? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, do you want to choose a song? I'll choose the song. How about the Vinyl Cafe theme? Could you do vinyl that? Cafe theme. Well, I could play the Vinyl Cafe theme. Yeah, but could you do it now? You're going to do it in ten different styles, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. that yeah. Okay, smart guy. We'll start with uh, classical. Do it like Anton Querty. Like Anton Querty. Okay. Yeah. Well, with apologies to the maestro, uh, he'd probably do it in sort of uh, maybe a little darker, a little Russian sort of uh, thing, maybe like... Uh <laughs> Something like that. Not bad. So that's Anton Querty. Let's see you do country then. Country style. Well, country, country is sort of, uh, that would be all about Floyd Kramer, the, the father of country piano. And he would, he would do it like this. Very good. That's very good. Floyd Kramer. What, 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 what is it about that that makes me know that's Floyd? Well, Floyd always does the little sort of fancy stuff. Sort of pretty boy Floyd, we call him. All up at the top. And his, his big song was Last Dance, and it's, that's all it is. Okay, back to the theme, my friend. You've done it, you've done it uh, classical, you've done it country. Do it rock and roll. Rock and roll. Well, that's Jerry Lee Lewis. That's the only guy. So uh, let's see. He'd be sort of like this. I assume that's the bright and the bombastic. That's the bright and bombastic. What's the dark yeah. and the moody then? Well, You're talking about dark and moody. Yeah, dark and moody. Well, dark and moody is sort of like, uh, it's sort of like Miles Davis, I guess, and put it in a sort of a minor key, like uh, if anybody knows Miles. Well, now, I can hear that's dark and moody, but how makes that dark. Can you put that into words well, for well, me? What the makes original, it dark? It's sort of happy sounding. Major and happy. And Miles is all minor. What about Oscar? How would Oscar Peterson do? Well, Oscar's a little faster. He's a little more swing to him. So that's <laughs> five there. You got five. You did country, classical, rock, two jazzes. Yeah. <laughs> Can you keep going? It's only five. You uh, said you could do ten. Well, okay, how about, uh, say, to keep on a Canadian thing, how about Frank Mills? And I'll, I'll have to do it with the Frank Mills sort of uh, grin in the audience. <laughs> sort of like Groucho Marx, yeah. Or maybe, uh, maybe Scott Joplin. Scott Joplin, you have to slow him down a bit and a couple more sort of blue chords. Um. (laughs) 
That's sort of right. Scott Joplin. And to stay on an even more Canadian theme, the king of Canadian polkas, Walter Osteneck, might be something oh, yeah. like that. You just know, modulated. Yeah, Walter, yeah, Walter after a couple of, you know, Oktoberfests. <laughs> and uh, who else? You could even do it like Glenn Gould, sort of my, uh, you know, with apologies to Glenn. Uh, like a Mozart thing. Just let me, let me think about this for one second here. Uh, And that is nine, and I think you are running out of styles, my friend. That's I think nine. you're tapped out. Uh, well, we haven't done the blues yet. Shared. That was really great. That was very good. You win.